Welcome to your Cohesion Classroom. In this lesson, we will take a look at how to read and write numbers through hundred thousands. At the end of this video, you will have access to our tips and takeaways, allowing you to focus on the content being presented. You can always access any of our tips and takeaways from the lesson page before or after watching the lesson. This lesson builds heavily on the previous lesson, describing the value of a digit. Having a strong understanding of place value will be beneficial in this lesson. Students will take their prior knowledge of place value to begin reading and writing numbers into standard, expanded, and word form. For this lesson, students will generally be given one of three forms in which to write the number and asked to write the other two on their own. For example, 70,824. This number is written in standard form, as it is a standard way to express a number. In standard form, we use commas to separate periods. Periods are three digits within a larger number separated by commas. They help students to say a number clearly and with ease. For example, 70,824. Notice how the comma separates the thousands period from the ones period here. Students are familiar seeing numbers presented in standard form. Therefore, they are typically more comfortable in standard form than in word or expanded forms. The second form we will take a look at is expanded form. Expanded form requires the students to represent the value of each digit individually. When written, the values are separated by an addition symbol. Let's take a look at how to write 70,824 in expanded form. Remember, when writing these numbers together, each value is separated by an addition symbol, making expanded form for 70,824 look like this. 70,000 plus 0,000 plus 800 plus 20 plus 4. It is important to find the value of each digit one at a time. The first digit, 7, holds a 10 thousandths place and represents 70,000. Notice that there is a 0 in the 1 thousandths place. Since the value is 0, students may choose to write 0 here or skip over the number altogether. Whatever the student feels most comfortable with is the strategy they should use when working with the value of a 0. The 8 represents 800, the 2 is 20, and then a 4 is represented in the 1's place. The third form we will take a look at is word form. In word form, students simply express the number in words. As you read 70,824, simply write the words instead of the digits. 70,824. Knowledge of periods is really important here as students need to know when to say thousand. Let's take a look at a couple questions students might see. In each question, they will be asked to read and write these numbers in two other forms. To convert 832,487 from standard to expanded, consider the place value chart. Observe the location and value of each digit. Eight is in the hundred thousands place, making 800,000. Three is in the 10 thousands place, making 30,000. And then 2,000 plus 400 plus 80 plus seven. To convert from standard to word, just write the words 832,487. To convert from word to standard, simply write the digits as you read the words 34,517. Notice that I converted to standard form first. This is because students are most comfortable in this form. It is not required, but it is convenient to work with the numbers in standard form. 34,517 would be 30,000 plus 4,000 plus 500 plus 10 plus 7. To convert from expanded to standard form, again because working in standard is convenient, place the non-zero digits in the correct place. 5 is in the hundred thousands, 3 is in the ten thousands, 4 is in the thousands, 2 is in the hundreds, 8 is in the tens, 6 is in the ones, 534,286. To convert to word form, simply write the words as you read the number. If
If students are not given standard form initially, they can struggle. It's best to change a number to standard form first and then go from there. Zeros tend to mislead students when reading and writing numbers. For example, 600,000 plus 70,000 plus 800 plus 20 plus 4. Notice there are zero thousands. Without a solid understanding of place value, students might incorrectly convert this to 67,824. Instead of correctly to 670,824. Using a place value chart will help the student accurately place the numbers and determine when a zero is needed. In this case, the zero represents zero thousandths. If the student left this out, it would change the number from 670,824 to 67,824, completely changing the value represented, as 7 is now in the thousands place and 6 is in the ten thousands place. On a smaller scale, be aware of errors in the smaller place values like ones and tens. Students will put so much effort and attention into the larger place values. They can make silly mistakes like representing 670,824 as 600,000 plus 70,000 plus 0,000 plus 800 plus 24. Use a place value chart to illustrate why this representation is incorrect. For additional practice, go back and review the video, describe the value of a digit. This could be helpful in using a place value chart to write numbers in standard form and develop background knowledge on how to write numbers in expanded form. Mastery of this lesson serves a foundation for success in future lessons, such as compare and order numbers and renaming numbers. To gain a full understanding of this concept, visit the lesson page to view the rest of the place value, addition, and subtraction set of lessons. Uniting students and families in learning, we are Cohesion Education. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.